Miles here with Wilco Land. For anybody trying to visit raw land, this is the app I suggest. It's called Onyx. I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to make a really successful land visit by using this app. There's other apps out there, Land Glide, Google Earth, things of that nature that can help you out with this. But for me, this is my favorite and I'll show you why. So what I do is you just go to Onyx Maps right here. And what we're going to do is I use the hunt version. I'm already logged in. Um, so I go the hunt map. And what it's going to show me here, it'll ask you for your login there. And what we're going to do, a lot of properties, whether you're looking at something residential or out you know, in Timbuktu, something very rural. I'm going to use a rural example here because there's no cell phone connection at this property. So that's another dynamic when you're looking at properties like this. Hey, you got to keep that in mind, right? You're trying to use your phone and use the GPS coordinates to access it. But at the end of the day, you might lose cell phone connection. What Onyx can do is you can download these maps before you go and have a super successful visit. So let's get started here. A lot of vacant land does not have an address. So you're gonna be using GPS coordinates to access these. I'm logged into Onyx here. I'll get into more details of Onyx, but let's start by just searching a property and showing you some of the benefits. I do have the paid version, which is about $60 a year. Um, and, and you can double check on that. I totally think it's worth it, uh, whether you're into the backcountry. Uh, you like to off-road, whatever it may be, hunt, um, or just view land that's out, you know, very rural without cell phone connection. What the paid version does is it gives you, it shows the parcel lines. So these are all people's properties. Um, and let's see here. I've got a, yep, okay, awesome. And that, that yellow in array way. So I wanted to show you this, so. This is our parcel, it's 20 acres. You can see roads going up here and you can even see the road name kind of, um, if I zoom in a little bit, right? Iron Horse Road um, going there, um, but your creek's down here. So you start to see these features on the map. And the really cool thing about this is the paid version has these parcel lines. And what that is, you'll have to make sure your layers, when you download the app, there will be um, layers you have to add, right? So here's a layer library for all the states. You know, you can go through all the states and they have different layers. The key layer to add is going to be private lands. You see what changes when we go from private lands to not having that layer. Now we can't see where the, where the property boundaries are. So having this is super beneficial. Again, Onyx, this is part of the premium version, which is paid. It's not very expensive, but there is a free seven day trial. So if you do want to go visit a property, you don't want to pay, wait, you know, time it up right. So you have this free trial. The next thing you have is government lands. You can see as I zoom out, um, it's showing right around here, um, Kootenai Nat National Forest, um, state of Montana, DNRC. So we can use that layer, that's great. You can see some of these other layers that Montana offers. So let's go back and let's show, we have private land ownership. As I zoom in, we can see our parcel. What's really unique about this is when you're out on the property, you see my cursor here in the middle of the property, I'm kind of circling it around. When you have your phone on you, that you're getting tracked, right? Your GPS tracker, kind of like when you're driving somewhere and you type in somebody's address on Google Maps, um, you can see the car driving, you know, down the streets, whatever it may be. This is going to show you walking around the property. Like I'll be on a property. I was on this one. I was about right here. I just looked down at my phone and my little dot is tracking me. This is with or without cell phone connection. So that's what's really, really awesome about Onyx is you get a sense of the property lines. You walk across. Oh, Hey, look down at your phone or right about at the edge of the, the northwest corner of the property. That's a huge benefit. The other way you got to do it is get on Google Earth and maybe look at natural features in the landscape to help identify. You know, maybe the northwest corner has a lake, a house, or a river. You can point that out, but using Onyx is a lot easier. Um, in some of my other Google Earth videos, I would say that, hey, there's a road on the south side. That's how you know where your south boundary is. So you're looking for natural features. You know, this is kind of wild and rural terrain. Onyx is also going to show roads. It's going to show more dirt trails than you'll see on Google Earth. A lot of times tree coverage will block those dirt roads and trails back there. Um, it'll show more government lands. It's a really great GIS program is what I'm getting to. So, you know, the last thing I want to touch on is called offline maps on this app. So now you know how to go find layers. You can do this for every state. Um, you know, there's a bunch of different layers. You know, what else is cool about Onyx is that it shows ownership. So it shows like the property owner's address. Um, this is outdated. You know, that's a thing. Um, we bought this property within the last 30 days. Um, since then, the counties recorded it in their name. 
you know, county records can take months for them to update on their online GIS systems. It's not like there's somebody waiting there, new owner, let's update the GIS system online. That might take months, you know what I mean? Um, you know, the next thing, Onyx is there's millions of properties across the country. So every, and millions of hand, you know, ownership changing hands, um, you know, every day, right? So they're not constantly ha employing people to change it and change it and change it. Maybe they update it once a year, every six months, every three months with new ownership records, but just keep that in mind if you're seeing different parcel names. Us as a company selling land, we'll always be able to provide you a copy of the recorded deed showing Wilco and ownership. Um, but again, these things won't always be updated at the snap of a finger. So um, this is another benefit though, if you ever wanna mail somebody a letter, your neighbor, hey, the lot's been sitting vacant for 10 years, you got interest in selling. Um, that's something you can do too. It's got some other information about the property here as well in Onyx, um, you know, different hunting ranges and stuff like that. So when I went out to this property, for example, this was, um, there was no cell phone connection. So hypothetically, I would have lost cell connection. I wouldn't have been able to see where I'm at. It would have been a disaster without that, right? So before I went out there, I made sure to download the map. You can see some of the maps I've downloaded. This is a Trigo map. Um, so what I did was I downloaded a map before I went. And you can see that right here. I downloaded this box. So um, once I got close to the property, I was still able to open the app on my phone. Everything was clear as day. Everything was already downloaded. And again, my GPS tracker was showing me where I was. And I was able to look through the roads um, and, and things of that nature. So um, that's, that's what you're going to want to do as well. You can download a smaller map to have higher resolution, medium resolution, or lower re resolution for a larger map. So again, in areas you, you believe there might not be cell phone connection, um, especially rural properties like this, you're going to want to do that. Um, something in town, let's say I pick this property in Minnesota. I've got a just under an acre um, next to the Mississippi River in central Minnesota um, near Brainerd, right? A lot of lakes, beautiful area, great golf courses. Good spot to build on. And I wanted to look up the coordinates. The same thing goes for residential property. Um, and this is Google Earth, so you can always use tools like this as well. Same thing goes for a property like this. Um, just making sure you have those layers for Minnesota in there, right? Private land ownership. And again, just getting back to searching GPS coordinates and going from there. So um, I'll show you that. It's just as easy with residential properties. You probably don't have to download the map. I mean, this is pretty clearly, um, this is like right outside the, this is like basically in the town of Brainerd. So there's cell phone connection here. Um, and you can zoom in. And, and again, you can see all that private ownership. Again, not updated in our company name. And we bought this a couple months ago. So that's how it works. It takes a long time for these things to get updated. So as you're walking around this property, you're looking at my mouse here, you might be standing here and you can walk back here. These are approximations. It's overlaying a tax map or a plat map is what it's referred to oftentimes over top of Google Earth satellite imagery. Um, so that's kind of, this is the benefit that Onyx can offer you. Um, again, you have other tools like Google Earth. I can search the GPS coordinates for that 0.77 acre and I can look on Google Earth as well look for natural features in the landscape. I know Onyx shows that as well, but Google Earth might even be a little more detailed, but you can see you know, a house on this corner of the property, right? You've got somebody's residence there. So you're looking for these features. Um, this will help you guys have a great and successful land visit. If you have any questions, just call me. My name is Miles McLaughlin. Our company is Wilco Land. We've got raw property across the United States. Look forward to hearing from you and I hope you have a good land visit.